So the band Woven War, um, pretty much all the musicians um, have uh, come from a previous band, which is um, As I Lay Dying. Now, As I Lay Dying is um, a metalcore band, so um, has a uh, screaming. Um, they um, decided to do Woven War because As I Lay Dying kind of uh, fell through. Um, because the lead singer, um, apparently, um, well not apparently, he did, um, hire an assassin to murder his wife. And luckily, um, that didn't happen. Um, he was um, caught and everything. And uh, she obviously uh, didn't get attacked or anything. I don't think she came close at all. Um, but... Um, the lead singer went to court and uh, was sentenced to prison and he was um, in prison for uh, four or five years I think so uh, not really that long uh, I think four years probably I think it was maybe wrong but it uh, was definitely around four or something so it's still very short either way you look at it um, so as I lay dying um, obviously uh, the name was uh, pretty tainted um, the band were just left. Um, obviously they have family and uh, themselves to uh, care for and uh, they need money coming in and everything to uh, support the family and everything and um, because of what the singer did uh, they were ruined. And uh, since the singer's come out uh, they've uh, gone on record to uh, basically say that even before this happened the lead singer was um, not really the nicest of people so um that um upset them so um the whole time before then um they've been absolutely traumatized um about the singer and it's affected their lives pretty badly then this happened and um in ways they were thankful he actually did it and not um to actually hurt his wife but did it so that he ended up in prison they were glad to get away from him so um they came up with uh, Woven War, so basically all the uh, band members, the uh, two guitarists, the bass player and backing and vocalist, as well as the drummer, um, all came to form Woven War, but uh, they were obviously lacking a singer. Now the singer they hired um, is from the band um, O oh Sleeper, I believe, um, which is um, again a band that uh, has uh, singing as well as screaming. but. Um, it seems they decided that uh, they were fed up with the uh, screaming, that's all they kind of did, so they wanted to kind of uh, do something different. Uh, so uh, the first album is self-titled, it's just Woven War, and um, for the most part it is all singing. There's uh, probably two songs, I think, which has um, the odd scream in it, but it's just um, the odd one, so it's not um, two songs where it's majority scream, it's just an odd scream. But um, the rest of it is all singing. Um, now, um, a lot of people um, did like this album, but uh, there was a lot who also didn't. And that was clearly the As I Lay Dying fan base, because um, there wasn't really screaming. It is all pretty much singing. And uh, they didn't like it, and uh, for that, um, because it's singing, that is pop. Because uh, Iron Maiden and their uh, bands like Metallica, Guns N' Roses, ACDC, Megadeth, they are all pop because they sing. That is obvious. So um, you need to scream in order to be metal. So when Ozzy um, came up um, in Black Sabbath and they invented metal, that was obviously wrong. They didn't uh, do that. Um, they, that was a lie. That is not what metal is. It's basically pop. So um, the fans um, did kind of mess it up. But um, before any of that happened, obviously, Woven War went into the studio and did this self-titled. Now, um, it's a pretty long album. I think it's just um, around uh, 50 minutes or so. But uh, there's 15 tracks. Um, but the first track and uh, the last track is um, an intro and an outro. So uh, basically, you get 13 tracks here. Um, the first uh, track, uh, Forward, just uh, your typical um, introduction. Um, on the piano and um, as it gets into the first track all rise um 
I find this to basically be um, the musicianship of a metalcore act. Um, the drums are um, really, really quick. Um, the rhythm guitar is doing uh, some uh, pretty intricate stuff, but it is the rhythm. But the lead guitarist then um, also does um, a kind of lead solo at the start. So he's uh, doing leads um, at the start until the singer comes in. It's, um, it's soaring to begin with, and then nearer to the end, he um, starts uh, kind of whittling um, for the singer to come in. But um, overall, the lead guitarist um, is always kind of doing a lead. He is always doing lead. So he's not really just doing what the rhythm does. There are times when he does, but uh, he really does like uh, doing lead. Uh, the the rhythm is kind of more present. Um, the lead's kind of a bit kind of drowned out under the rhythm, but um, it is there. It's just a bit kind of subtle. Um, but uh, you if you concentrate, you can hear the leads. Um, his lead playing is uh really intense. So um the chorus um it's uh really uh blooming quick and uh wherever else there's a lead, in the song it's really fast. There is again a solo, so he had that intro solo, then he has the actual solo, and then throughout the song he is also doing leads that are quite intense. Um, the vocalist is um, really good, it's not um, one of these macho uh, voices or anything. It's um, a bit uh, lighter than that, but uh, not as light as uh, something like uh, Matt Tuck or anything. So uh, that's kind of where the voice um resides it's a very good voice but um i would probably say not very diverse um it is pretty much the one type of style but uh, because it is a really good voice um i can forgive it uh, to a degree but uh, there would be it would be a bit nice just to kind of hear a bit more variety uh, to the voice um and then as the uh, tracks uh, go on um the styles have uh, subtle changes, so the sound uh, does subtly change. Um, it still has uh, solos, it still has uh, some intense leads with some great vocals. And then um, you get uh, the songs which have them subtle screams, which is like two or something. Um, you then get songs which um, are kind of melodic or songs that uh, start melodic and then uh, kind of go into that really heavy stuff. The sound of Woven War, I would explain, is uh, the musicianship is um, pure metal and what you get in there, death metal. But it's not um, a very fat sound, it's a very bright, light sound to it, but it's uh, going as quick as what you would expect in a metalcore band. And then obviously the vocalist is not um, got a beefy, um, hefty voice, it's a bit bright, but not overly. So, um... It's extremely intense musicianship and everything, but they keep it all kind of bright to add um, a kind, that kind of uh, melody and beauty to it over all the intensity. And then when it comes to the uh, choruses, um, it opens up to what people um, always kind of explain as a poppy kind of chorus sound. Um, I don't really say that. I just um, say it, um, it's um, a point where you need to not just constantly keep it shredding you need to kind of break it up and uh, have something a bit more relaxing for the chorus and something a bit more memorable and easy to digest. That is what uh, the majority of the choruses kind of go for. As I say, the lead's still um, doing, um, on on uh, most of the uh, occasions, um, going bonkers and they're uh, doing something pretty intricate. So it is still basically all like that, but... Um, for the most part, um, the chorus uh, kind of slows it down a bit and uh, kind of uh, opens the sound up. So it's not all just really tight, uh, getting as many notes in as you can. It kind of opens and uh, lets it breathe. Um, what else uh, can I say about this album? Um, the solos, even though the lead guitarist does a lot, um, I believe there is the odd song where he doesn't do a solo. And the solos, when they do come up, they are uh, done and over with pretty damn quick. Um, he doesn't really spend a lot of time on the solos, which um, I find annoying because um, the solo comes in and then you're ready and you're hyped and uh, you're uh, looking forward to what you're going to get. And then it's kind of over before you realise it. And it, it's kind of like leaving you hanging because uh, you're not really finished with it. Uh, so it's just like... Oh, here we go. Yes, this is great. It's over.
and uh, it's uh, kind of disappointing uh, because of that. But as I say, uh, there is um, a lot of uh, mu musicianship to this, uh, the guitars, uh, the rhythm is uh, doing some pretty intricate stuff um, as well, just the rhythm. The drums are ballistic, but um, compared to As I Lay Dying, um, the drums are fast and ballistic, but it knows when to be subtle and when to kind of hold back, as well as showing what he is capable of. So it's uh, really kind of going for it, but um, trying to uh, restrain himself, which um, is better than just kind of full on going out constantly, because it's just going to get extremely boring and repetitive, and there's not really going to be any time to kind of just relax and get into some kind of uh, nice soothing melody. So where the drums, uh, even though he does go at it, he does sh uh, slow it down for a bit more of a melody sounding um, chorus or song. Um, when they uh, do the mel melodic songs, of course. Um, the heaviest track on here is um, Matter of Time, I believe. Um, because a lot of fans said you need it to be heavy, but Matter of Time, the singer, um, basically uh, for the uh, first time on the whole album, um, his, he uses an aggressive type of voice. It's still singing and everything. It's not uh, yelling like uh, Trivium in the early days. It's not screamo. It's uh, just um, a more aggressive uh, tone he uses. And um, obviously, uh, musicianship uh, builds up uh, because of that. The chorus is still beautiful, so um, it's basically just taking out um, them verses and then stepping them up in aggression, but the chorus remains um, with them awesome melodies and everything, which um, is a great diversity to, ha to have something so um, high adrenaline and um, aggressive to uh, the melodies um, for the uh, chorus. So um, it works really well, and um, yeah, the album is great and everything, and I absolutely uh, love uh, the album. But um, if I were to give pointers, I'd say some songs um, I would like a bit more kind of layers to it, uh, extend some of the songs outwards. Um, the lead guitarist, I would like you to extend your solos, because even though you're doing a lot of leads, and I'd like you to keep doing that, I don't want you to kind of, uh, take a back step, I want you to keep that but when it comes to solos extend it and uh, do a, a decent length um, around like 30 seconds or something instead of uh, the, like the 8 second uh, thing you're doing because it's uh, just over way too quickly um, the lead singer um, needs a bit more variety in the voice like a matter of time is a, a very different but that is like one song out of uh, how many 13 uh, where he actually changes up his voice there are other subtle differences, it's just um, I would like more different, um, maybe put, even put effects into it, uh, just, um, just take everything a step further basically. Um, if I were to uh, rate this album it would be um, probably an 8, so it's um, definitely above average. It's not a 7 which is just um, good, it's um, a very good album, it's very good. Um, the only thing not uh, making it a nine to like great or anything is obviously um, all the songs are similar in sound. Uh, they are they do subtly change, but I would like more of a drastic uh, change in sound. The singer needs a bit more um, sound to him. Solos in every song because um, he did miss a few, I believe, and them um, extend them solos. So that's basically why the points have uh, dropped. Um, so. Um, the next album they did, um, because even though the self-title did do well, the majority of fans kept saying, we want you to be heavy, we want you to scream and be like, as I lay dying. Um, so they went and did it. But um, apparently as well in that interview I discussed um, at the start, um, when the lead singer came out, he kept texting the band saying um, he wants to meet. And um, it dragged the band... Sorry, it dragged the band down, so um, he, um, they were all kind of depressed, and uh, the lead guitarist there fell out with the rhythm guitarist, so they were hating each other, they despised each other, and then after this album was done, the uh, rhythm guitarist just left. He had enough, he didn't want to see uh, them again. So um, they were tearing apart, and then um, they were scared to um, get back involved with this guy, because he could ruin their lives even further, and they're trying to get away from them. But in interviews and everything, um, they constantly are talked about what's going to happen with Adele like Dying. Do you know the lead singer's out? When the lead singer comes out, uh, what are you going to do? 
and they just cannot escape this guy, and then um, it's uh, tormenting them. So um, I'm saying that because obviously um, Honor is dead. Uh, they've gone in with this uh, mental attitude, and uh, you could say it may have affected uh, what they put out. And then obviously the fans have clearly affected it because they asked for more aggression and uh, the band went okay. Now Honor is Dead has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 tracks. Now all these 11 are full length songs so it's, they got no intro or outro. But uh, the overall length of this is around half an hour. So it's a very short album. So that is a massive problem because uh, that's hardly anything. Like some progressive bands, uh, if they release something half an hour, it'd probably be an EP. So it's absolutely ridiculous. Now this album is an absolute mess. Um, there's some songs which is kind of like um, the first album. So you have Lines in the Sand and World on Fire. That is kind of like uh, the previous album with uh, the great singing, great leads, uh, great musicianship and um, great um, structure with um, all the layers of instruments all working well. But then the rest of it um, is absolutely terrible. Honor is dead, everything is in the verses, stripped down, so bland. There's hardly anything going on and the singer is just slowly saying things and not really singing powerfully, it's just bland. And um, Confession has screaming throughout it, apart from like the chorus or something, censorship um, is m mixing singing and screams and everything, but um, the lead guitarist isn't doing all his unique leads anymore, it's all basic rhythm stuff and basic drums and um, him shouting and then going to vocals. And then on times, the vocals aren't even as good as the previous album, so the vocals are not even trying as hard anymore. Then you got your melodic songs, but uh, they're lacking. And that is basically the album. Um, you get two songs that are basically just like uh, the first album, which are fantastic. Then you get some songs where he's shouting and singing, but the singing ain't as good as the first album. And the instruments are sometimes they're actually trying and then sometimes they're not and at other times they're doing absolutely nothing. The solos are still lacking in some songs. They're not even as good and as I say the leads have been completely cut out of um, some of these songs as well making it even lazier. And then the album is extremely short so overall it just feels like they were just like, okay, you asked for screaming, let's just do it, but we're not in the mood, so we'll just basically put it out there, that is it. So it's a mess of an album, and it um, kind of comes across as lazy, and then in other times trying, and it just seems that they're not in the right mind space, their minds were all over the place, it was all a mess. The fans got on their nerves and everything, and just completely what, um what they were supposed to do, so they weren't doing what they were passionate about, maybe. But uh, since then, um, As I Lay Dying has formed back again. The lead singer is back with the band, even though um, there was a comment made by one of the uh, musicians who uh, said uh, the guy was an absolute idiot and he hates him. But it um, turns out uh, they're all together again. Um, I don't know if uh, they've ended Woven War uh, or if they'll come back to it. Um, I don't think anything's really been said on the matter. But um, I'm hoping so, because uh, at least the screaming will be done in uh, As I Lay Dying, meaning uh, hopefully the fans and uh, that side of them will stay in As I Lay Dying and Woven War can be what it's supposed to be, which is kind of like the first album, but evolving on that, not doing this weirdness. So um, the third album is basically going to be a big deal, because this album did flop. The fans weren't that keen, um, as I lay dying people weren't even keen, it just isolated people. There was the odd person who's a fanboy and it's just like, well hey, and, but um, overall it was kind of a failure of a release. So um, hopefully uh, the third album goes back to that uh, first album style and they build on it um, with uh, what I said they need to be doing. 
and uh, hopefully they go far because uh, that first album uh, was really amazing and I was very pleased with it and I really do like listening to it. But I can't really say they're one of the uh, best bands or really someone to support because this is the most recent release and it's so terrible. And that's they, they've only done two albums, so it's one really good one and one that really sucks. So um, who knows what Wogan War is going to be like and if I should support them. That's where I'm left at the minute. Um, so this is a kind of below average. you got kind of two decent songs, or there's like a complete mess, some I delete. So uh, I don't know, like a four, it's below average, this album. It's really bad. And really short, and um, there's like two songs, but um, Lines in the Sand and World on Fire, um, although good, they're not really on the same level as uh, the first album, it's kind of just below that. But um, that's my review for um, the band and uh, the only two albums they have out so far. Don't know if uh, they're going to disband, but uh, hopefully they do stick at it and uh, do something way better than this and something I can actually be proud of. So, um, only time will kind of say that, because at the minute I'm not sure. So, um, that'll be it uh, from me. If you like, leave a like. If uh, you dislike, then uh, I would like it if you uh, please leave a comment saying um, what it is I can improve on. Because if you just leave a dislike but don't say anything, I'm not going to know uh, where I went wrong, so it'll just basically stay the way it is. Um, and um, if you want to see more from me and, uh, you know, talk to me, because I do talk in the comments, then subscribe, you can ask questions, you can talk to me, and uh, you will um, obviously be updated uh, whenever I uh, release reviews. So, um, yeah, that's what you want, then uh, subscribe. And... Uh, until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.